Today begins Advent season, that time of the year when we prepare ourselves for the coming Christ. Um, it's hard sometimes. It's the same thing every year. But every year, it's important that we go through these steps. Um, Christmas is not my favorite holiday. I don't like Christmas because I don't like everything that goes along with Christmas. I love Christmas for the reason for Christmas. I love Christmas because of Christ, but I don't like Christmas because, well, in the middle of October, there was a station in town playing Christmas songs. And my son wanted to listen to them in the car. It's too early, too much, too soon. Um, I was walking through Menards before Halloween and I saw the Christmas trees already up. It seems like we have taken Christmas and we have made it this thing that isn't really Christmas. So in the church, we spend Advent preparing for Christmas. It's kind of the place that you can come to kind of take that off. You can set aside Christmas lifts. You can set aside uh, Black Friday shopping for everybody's Christmas presents. You can not have to worry about this party or that party that you have to go to. And you can just focus on what Christmas is really about. So we're going to spend the next four weeks talking about this. So today we're going to talk about hope. Next week we're going to talk about peace. Then we're going to talk about joy. And then we're going to talk about love. I have to think. I have to do the Rolodex in my brain. So today we are standing for hope. Now, um, I'm going to use an example. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to ask you in your mind to go back in time. I want you to go, for some of you, it's going to be a little bit longer journey than for others. But I want you to go back in time to when you were a child. A child who saw the joy of Christmas and the hope of Christmas. I want you to think back. Did you write a list for Santa Claus? Did you do that? Did you write that list of things that you hoped for? Put it in the envelope? Sent it off to Santa? There were years where that was the most important thing about Christmas. And I want you to think back and remember those times as you hoped for that gift that you would, you would receive on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning or Christmas Day, however it is that your family opened up Christmas presents. Can you remember that tension in your life, that desire and how it drove you? Did you ever have a Christmas like that or maybe a couple of Christmases like that where you absolutely hoped for a specific gift? Maybe it was for your birthday. Maybe your, your parents didn't do a lot of gifts on Christmas and maybe you got your special gift on your birthday and you hoped for that special gift. Maybe it was when you were a little bit older and you had gotten your driver's license or you were about to get your driver's license and you hoped that your parents would 
get you a car or you had saved your own money and worked hard to purchase your own car and you hoped for the joy that would come in that first automobile. Whatever it is that you need to think back to, to think about that idea of anticipation and hope, I hope you're there right now. So, we heard today in Jeremiah about a group of people who were hoping for something better. Jeremiah uh, 33 is kind of a whole chapter of hope. These are people who have Uh, who are being sent away into captivity and they are hoping to get back to the way things were. They are hoping to be free from the oppression that they're under. They're hoping that God will see their fear and their desolation and will free them from that oppression and will give them a safe refuge, a place to go. So every year, it is not difficult to find things in our world that bring us to tears and sadness shootings that are occurring in places that they shouldn't be occurring. People, one group of people hating another group of people just because of who they are or what they believe. Anger in our world for people who really just didn't get their own way. And how angry and despondent they can be. You don't have to look very far to find turmoil. But as Christians, we hope and pray, like I told the kids this morning, we hope and pray for something better. And as we hope, We do not hope as those who are unsure of the future. We hope as those who know the end of the story. As Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he lived and died to free us from sin, and that his freeing us from sin set us free for eternity and that when we pass from this mortal realm, when we leave our physical bodies behind, eternity with God awaits for all of us. That is the belief of everyone who claims to be a Christian. That's the hope to which we cling, the knowledge that we have that is sure in our mind. And so as Christians, when we talk about hope, we do not talk about hope as though it is something that is unachievable. We talk about hope as though it is something that is assured. Jeremiah writes to the people of Jerusalem, and he gives them hope. We as Christians enter Advent not wishing for hope, but assured of hope that is found in Jesus Christ. Jeremiah writes that out of the stump of Jesse will come one who is of the line of King David. We know that person to be Jesus Christ. We look back with hindsight and know for sure But the people of Jerusalem in the day of Jeremiah only had hope. Terrible things were happening to them. 
And Jeremiah gave them words of hope. As we go into Advent, we don't go into it as people who are timid and afraid. We go as people who are sure. So when I talk about standing for hope, I'm talking about proclaiming to the world that no matter what is going on around us, the hope of Christ stands firm for all of us. As we prepare for the coming of Christ on Christmas, I hope that you will join me in standing up and declaring to the world, Jesus lives. Not Jesus lived, and there's the possibility of, but that Jesus lives and there's the assurance of eternity for all who believe. We as Christians, every Advent season, prepare for Christmas. And this year, I know for sure that the hope of Christ is real. It's firm. It's something that I can touch and see and know with confidence that no matter what else is happening, that Christ will reign supreme, that eternity is ours, that the final battle has already been won. We prepare for the coming of Christ every year with the hope and assurance that Christ frees us from the worry and the hate and the anger and the mayhem. We get to walk as people filled with hope and stand up and declare to the world, Jesus lives. And because Jesus lives, our world has hope. This week, go forth from this place and declare to the world as you stand before mankind and declare the hope of Christ Come again this Christmas season to bring life, life everlasting. Amen.
Go forth from this place and stand for hope. Amen.